Modern applications do not exist in silos or monolithic technology stacks. Typically today, we see front-end applications triggered perhaps by mobile devices, connecting to cloud services, and then onto other technologies, including the mainframe. In this video, I'm going to be talking about observability, open telemetry, and how it can relate to the mainframe. In these applications, the transactions and interactions between the systems are critical for IT operations to understand. End-to-end -end visibility is key to knowing whether the hybrid application is performing correctly. Most organizations use a number of monitoring and observability tools to achieve this. However, we know that most organizations actually use between four and seven different tools in order to do this. This disjointed approach means that we end up with a slower process to actually detect, isolate, and ultimately resolve IT operational issues. To address this challenge, we've seen the emergence of open telemetry over the last five years. So what is it? Well, put simply, open telemetry is a vendor agnostic observability framework that helps with the generation, processing, and transmission of different types of telemetry data or signals. These are metrics, traces, and logs. Now, what makes OpenTelemetry different is that unlike a vendor-specific implementation, OpenTelemetry is an open framework that is managed by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation and has support and contributions from many different vendors across the IT industry. Now we're going to talk about some of the basic concepts of OpenTelemetry. First, your application or the environment it's running on needs to be instrumented. This will allow the signals to be generated in order to observe the system. This can either be done automatically, depending on the language that you're using, or it might have to be done manually using SDKs provided by OpenTelemetry. The system will then generate data in the form of OpenTelemetry protocol or OTLP. This describes properties of the system that are being observed and seen. By complying with this standard, different spans from different technologies and different systems can then be later correlated together to give the full observability view of the system. These spans are sent to the open telemetry collector. The collector is a process that takes this information and performs processing on it, such as filtering or maybe enriching the data in some form by perhaps correlating multiple sources together. It can then be sent on to other collectors or maybe an observability backend for visualization and further analysis. So as you instrument all of these across all these environments, we will now generate the data that allows the full system to be observed. So now we have all of this telemetry data and probably quite a lot of it. What do we do with it? This is where the observability backend comes in. Now, to be clear, open telemetry itself is not a product. Instead, there are many different software offerings out there, both open source and vendor provided, that take OTLP source data, process it, and perform analysis on it. This will take data from, multiple, from all these sources, derive visualizations and analysis around performance, and the precise nature of this analysis varies from product to product. But typically, they will provide an analysis of the application that's running and the infrastructure that, is, that, it, that the application is running on. An obvious example of this would be a trace view of a critical customer journey from a mobile initiated transaction through the environment to maybe a database update on the mainframe. Using OpenTelemetry, we can then enrich that information using signals from metrics and logs across all these different environments, bringing them together to give a more complete view. This helps the IT operations teams and site reliability engineers to more quickly identify where a problem might be if there is a performance issue, isolate it to the particular area that is uh, impacting it, and then taking prompt action, whether that's something they do themselves or engaging the right subject matter expert to then take action on that quickly. In this video, we've learned the basics about what open telemetry is, but we've just scratched the surface of what is possible by exploiting it. Observability provides deep visualization into hybrid applications that span multiple technology stacks. 
and provide automated resolution to problems within there. Having a standard adopted across all these platforms means that it is easier to integrate that data and build up that full, complete view. This is true for not just new applications that are written on the cloud in microservices or containers, but also older applications that might have been around for many years running on something like the mainframe. When you have a complete end-to-end -end view, the time and resources taken to resolve a problem are greatly reduced.